shown how important diet is to good health. And now more and more patients are seeking a fresh approach to treatment. KCTV5's Carolyn Long spoke with a local man who claims that food worked for him over chemo to fight his cancer. One of the contestants on June's American Ninja Warrior competition hails from right here in Lee's Summit. Who comes up with this stuff? Right? I'm 43 going on 22. We're live now. People are already filling and people are already commenting. Nice. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. Welcome to Live Team TV. And uh, so with with you, Eric, yeah. I would love to hear first, why did you even join the Lion Team? You know, uh, you're, here's the Lion Team. Yeah. Why did you join? Why did you join? Yeah. Why did I join the Lion Team? Well, I met you, I think, originally at uh, Ecstatic Dance. Is that correct? That was know. Ecstatic Dance. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I shared my story with you. And you then, when you were doing your a little motivation, motivational speaking, coaching, mm -hmm. asked me to come to one of your get-togethers and all I did was share my story and really at the time I was only starting to accept the exceptionality of my story yeah and so yeah. when you took me there and gave me that opportunity it really started to open things up for me yeah as far as seeing you know uh, how 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 far I've come and you know all the comments and feedback I got was super positive and so yeah I'm happy true. to join whatever you're starting and your, your cause <laughs> you're a beautiful man and yeah and I'm also really uh, impressed by your TEDx speaking. I was, oh, thank you. That's yeah. one of my goals uh, in this journey at some point is to, you know, maybe put this all together and turn it into a TED talk. I feel like something yeah. can happen. Absolutely. You know, something can happen. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that, yeah. you know, you supporting the mission and everything. Absolutely. You know, and what resonates with you, because the Lion Team is a group of positive individuals, yes. you know, and the Lion's a lover, the Lion's a leader, a giver. How does that resonate with you as an individual? Well, that's what I, I think of when you first said that. What what I thought of was with my kids, you know, more is caught than taught. And <laughs> more is caught than taught with kids. Right. Yeah. And with people. Mm. You know, I've gone through what I've gone through. And the reason it resonates with people is because I've walked the walk and I've been through it. And so that's, as you said earlier, speaking from the heart. If I'm just able to speak from there and just own your journey. Yeah, I feel like it resonates a lot more, and mm -hmm. I feel that's that's what I'm stepping into that energy now, which I think is symbiotic with the lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love yeah. the pride of lions too. That's another exactly. one of my analogies. Like, not the analogy, but the uh, the words that go together. Like, we are a pride. We're a yeah, we're a pride. We're, yeah. we're a people. We're we're ah, you know, that's, yeah. that's what it's about. You know, it's right. that. You know, so so we look like everyone's here now. So I'd like to welcome all of you to Lion Team TV. This is our now official second episode ever oh, nice. of Lion Team TV. Wow. And, and I like Honor. to start off, yeah, with the best people first. All right, right. <laughs> start well, off, I wait, appreciate wait. that. Exactly, start with the best people first. You know, and here we have Eric, Eric Ewing, and he is a man, he is the stage four ninja warrior. He's, he's diagnosed with stage four cancer. Absolutely. And through organic juicing, organic eating, was able to alleviate and cure himself of that. And, and I feel like that's something absolutely amazing because there are a lot of people that don't win that battle. And for you to come out on top and even inspire others as well, it's definitely, that's, that's, that's the epitome of a lion. You know, you're just, you're just, you're, you're a lion. You're out there, you're leading from the front. You know? well, I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it's, it is leading by example. You yeah. Know? And that's the best way to do it. And yeah. If you do that, speak from your heart, like things will align. That's, that's what it's about, you know? Yeah. So, so what, I would love to hear about where, where did you grow up? You know, where, where Ooh, are you originally fun. from? I like that. I never yeah. get to talk about my hometown much. So. Yeah, what about your hometown? Salt Lake City, Utah. Utah? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, no, okay. I don't think many people do. And it was a big part of who I was. I grew up uh, skiing. I was a ski racer. Both my parents were ski instructors. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I grew up as a ski instructor when mm -hmm. I was 17, taught skiing. Like it was a big part of my life. Yeah. And Utah, mountain biking. And yeah. And so Salt Lake and being part of the Olympics when they came in 2002. You was in the Olympics? No, 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 no. Oh, no, I was no, 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 about to say no. you was in the Olympics? But oh, the college I went to had more Olympians, Westminster College in Salt Lake City. Okay. What's okay. up? Had more winter. We had more Olympians that went to the college there because uh, it's right there. Yeah, all we had all the service. So anyway, Salt Lake, beautiful place. Grew up going camping down in southern Utah, nice. and yeah, and yeah. Then about in 2013, I came out here to Kansas City. Oh, you came out in 2013 from yep. Salt Lake, Utah. Yeah. And what brought you out here? 
well. My uh, ex-wife at the time had the opportunity to not, she was my wife at the time, had the opportunity to not work from home. Yeah. And so we, and her mom wasn't feeling well. So we moved out to Kansas City uh, to be with her. And three months after that, with her uh, seven months pregnant, no, I, the, our, our daughter was three months old is when I got diagnosed. Oh. So five months into Kansas City wow. is when I got diagnosed. Five, okay, five months into the Kansas City, yeah. you was diagnosed with, what were you diagnosed with? Uh, stage three malignant melanoma, 3B. Oh yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, so I can, I can do a quick, like I was, I had a mole removed from my stomach. Do, yeah. you, want, do, you, do you want to go down there? Just do it. Yeah, quick. yeah, so stage three malignant, so, malignant melanoma, is that, that's a cancer? Yes. Okay, yeah. that, that's, that's a, okay. So I'd had one tumor that they found on my stomach and it turned out to be five tumors after, after I got scans. Wow, so you had five, okay. Five tumors on, on my original diagnosis. Mm. So they removed all those tumors and then they did a serious, serious surgery on my groin where they removed 11 lymph nodes, I mean, seven and eight lymph nodes and I had enough time to recover. And in that time of recovering is when I studied what they were planning on giving me. Wow. What, what was happening for you emotionally when you found out Great, yeah. that you had cancer. Yeah. You know, tell me was, about that moment. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, I, was, I was thinking about that on the way. Uh, it was, I was at a hotel, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an airline pilot by trade, okay. and I've been a pilot for 10 years, mm. and I was on an overnight, I'm a captain, mm. and uh, I was on an overnight in a hotel mm -hmm. in Upper Michigan, mm. and the phone rang, mm. and I was, thought oh crap because the only time as a pilot the phone rings early in the morning to, mm -hmm. for all my pilot friends out there yeah. is when you're late for the van yeah and so anytime the, the hotel phone rings you say oh crap yeah i pick up the phone and I'm like oh gosh it was only my dermatologist huh and he's like hey how's it going i'm like oh yeah good Why would you call it 8 a.m in the middle of michigan and he said hey you know that mole i re removed mm -hmm. well uh it's malignant melanoma Mm. And I remember just, you know, I knew at that point my life was never going to be the same again. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And I know anybody else who's been diagnosed knows that moment. Nobody forgets that moment. Yeah. And then I had to still keep my wits together because I wanted to get back home. So I flew from there to Detroit, Detroit to Minneapolis. Mm. And it was about 12 hours later before I was able to see my family. Wow. So that was the one tumor. Then they did a scan, some PET scans and realized that it was five tumors. Wow. And, and, so, and when you first got it, you knew your life was changed forever. Yeah. Well, I knew those words. I never knew how it was going to change, but I just, I knew that it was never going to be the same because, yeah. you know, you kind of group people who have cancer into something that you're never going to get. You know, mm -hmm. I was a healthy person and it just never crossed my mind that that would be something. Yeah. And I think that's true of if you talk to everybody, the reason my story I feel like resonates is because everybody's had an experience with cancer, mm. whether it's your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, everybody's like, it, it, it elicits emotional response. And that's that vulnerability. I really hold true when I talk to people, you yeah. know, just know that it, it, it moved people. So, mm. but that's later on in the journey that I learned. All yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. So upon having that cancer, it was something that it definitely moved you. And in your mind, you didn't even think you was going to get it. You know? No. Yeah. It was way, it was so surreal. Yeah, you know, just like I was normal every day, and the next thing I knew, I had less than a fifty percent chance of living. Wow. They gave me a, the the three B was forty percent chance of living. Wow! And yeah, there's only there's stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, and three B meant it had spread to different parts of my lymph nodes, but hadn't gone to my internal organs yet. So mm -hmm. it was it was serious. Yeah, yeah, and. So then I looked into the chemotherapy they were going to give me, which was called alpha interferon, and I read some studies on it. This is in the recovery time from my lymph nodes, mm -hmm. and it showed me that there was no chance. It didn't increase my overall chance of survival at all. Wow. And this study was done by the National Institute of Health, mm -hmm. which is a reputable organization, even on the established medical yeah. side. And it acknowledged that it didn't increase your chance of survival, but increased how long you were going to live. So if you took it for seven months, you lived for seven months longer, but you still died. So it just prolonged the death. So pretty much you were, you were prescribed something yes. that was already proven to not work. It just delayed. And you were sick. And you were sick the whole time. The whole time. And they, and they still prescribed you that. Yeah, that's what the plan was. The plan and was just to delay the death. That's the way they looked at it. And that didn't work for me. So yeah. that's when I looked into anything else. Mm. And... 
I came upon the Gerson therapy. And mm -hmm. that was another point that I knew that, and a big part of what I want to contribute to this is that it's when I took control of my health journey. Yeah, yeah. What, what was happening for you in your mind to be prescribed something from a reputable doctor, say mm -hmm. doctor prescribed you this, and you still went against the grain? I, I, it, it's try, it's try to go back there. I just knew, yeah, I, it's when you read clinical studies and you become the clinical study, yeah. you know, you always hear about stage four cancers when they try a new drug and it doesn't work. Yes. When you are that person, when you are the guinea pig, it becomes completely different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so I saw that and it just logically didn't make any sense. So I knew again, anything but that. Okay. Anything about that. Yeah. I'd rather not do anything yeah. and try to, I mean, do something, mm. but not do that because I wanted to stay well. Yeah. And I came upon the Gerson therapy and the Gerson therapy has an amazing record uh, with melanoma. So the Gerson therapy is an organic plant-based therapy mm. invented in the 1950s by a man named Max Gerson. He was trying to cure migraine headaches. He cured his own migraine headache. Mm. And then people came with migraines and tuberculosis. He cured that. And eventually... He was curing cancer with this organic plant-based diet. Wow. So, so the Gerson therapy is a therapy um, that is based plant-based. Mm -hmm. and, and you're saying that you saw that as a possible route. You saw that. You were like, as I the like, only route. As the only route. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so you saw it. Because there's a way out. What a, I had that or seven months longer being sick. Oh, so yeah. it wasn't really, there was, I, I did it by no other choice. Yeah. You know? And so, and that's an all in deal. That's juicing. 13 times a day for two wow. years, every hour on the hour. I yeah. mean, I don't want to scare people who are thinking about it. Well, it's better than the alternative. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's better yeah. than the alternative. That's I'll exactly what it came down. Right? Yeah. 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 So, so, so do the Gerson therapy, you juice for 13 times a day. Every hour on the hour. You every get to hour on for hour. two years. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And so the premise is you flood your body with organic plant-based nutrients mm -hmm. that heal the body. And you flush out all the toxins that want to come out mm. via coffee enemas. It's a lot, but it's, mm -hmm. it works, you know, it's, and it's been around since 1950 cured more people than any other naturopathic means tens yeah. of thousands. The Gerson therapy support uh, network site on Facebook is a beautiful place to get a reference. Wow. And uh, yeah, it just has a great track record. So yeah. I thought, why not? And there's no real opportunity in this. It's all you need to really do is buy a book. Gerson therapy is not a money making an organization. You buy yeah. a book and you're able to teach yourself how to cure cancer. Wow. And uh, wow. So I went in all, all in on that. Yeah, and that's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing that you really found something that resonated with you. Right. And it sounds like it wasn't this get rich, make money scheme. It was right. like, no, this works. Yeah. All you need to have is a book and just follow the system. Yeah. And I actually saw the movie with you. Yeah. You was you was one of the speakers at the movie thing. Yes. And I remember that. And there was a lot of people that went through it and most of them ended up surviving. Yeah. Most of them ended up surviving. And one of the guys that went through it was in his sixties. Yes. Remember that guy with yeah, the ice for sure. yeah. 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 And I thought that was just amazing. Yeah. Like, even at his sixties, he still yeah. fought for a cure for cancer. Yeah. You know? I'll, I'll put my plug in here for the food cure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was able to speak at the world premiere of a movie called the food cure, which follows six people who did what I did, the Gerson therapy. I'm not in the movie. But a good, it ended up being a good friend of mine, Sarah. She directed the film, and yeah. uh, she asked me to speak at the world premiere of it in San Diego. So yeah. that was one of my first speaking gigs, and it was neat because I got to meet the person who wrote the study that made me choose the Gerson therapy. And mm -hmm. I spoke with him, and I also spoke with little Jeremiah, who's in the movie, who was six months old yeah. when he was diagnosed, two, year, two years old when he was diagnosed with basically terminal cancer. Yeah. And uh, his mom chose Gerson, and uh, yeah, he, I still are. I'm in touch with them, and I think he's nine years old now. So wow! I just got to speak with him. Yeah. And so it should be streaming soon. The food cure. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll be posting it on my site and on the Lion Team site. But it's an amazing movie. Uh, yeah. That just shows honestly what it's like to do what I did for two years. Yeah, yeah. It gives a, it's called the food cure, mm -hmm. and it gives an in-depth view of what he did. Thirteen juices a day for two years. To that's, this is chapter one. This is chapter one. Yeah, we got we got more. Wow. Yeah. That is so that is I mean, there's more cancer coming. So we yeah. can go there whenever you want. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that's so far. This is chapter one. Yeah, we can start yeah. to segue there. Well, yeah. Sure. And and 
And so what's the next chapter? I didn't even know it was another chapter. Oh, yeah. This, you know, so. This is 2013. So I did this all in Tuesday, 13 times a day two years and I go back to work because I had to be tumor free to go back to work as a pilot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went back to work as a pilot. Awesome day. Nice. Know, I earned yeah. it. This was 2015. Okay. And took about three weeks of recurrent training in the simulator to come back to flying. And I get in the plane. Six weeks later, I'm taxiing in mm -hmm. from an overnight. I'm taxiing into my base of Minneapolis. And I remember feeling two bumps on my arm mm -hmm. and I knew at that point I wasn't going to fly again mm -hmm. for a while. Wow. And so I went and even after doing 13 juices a day, yeah, I, I went to my uh, surgical oncologist. Sure mm -hmm. enough, Who's malignant back? melanoma. Who's yeah. Back? Yeah. That was tumors six and seven. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of where my journey changed. It went from cancer being, just about healing the body to healing the mind, body, and soul. Like I knew I had to do something different. Yeah. When I was doing Gersing and I, Gersin, I was really in fear of not dying. Mm. And this second time around, I knew I had to do, I had to live. And so not only did I do the Gerson therapy, but I, uh, and this is also why I enjoy sharing my story, but I also did conventional immunotherapy, mm. which means I went and go, got injections with everybody else doing chemotherapy up there. Uh, but I did the Gerson therapy at the same time. Mm. So I'm flooding my body with these nutrients and acknowledge the conventional medicine mm. because I had waited long enough. Well, we'll get there actually, sorry, I jumped the gun. Okay. Tumors, tumors six and seven come back, I have them cut out. And about another year later, I'm, I'm staying tumor free and another two tumors come back. Oh man. Yeah. Wow. So, no, that was three. Yeah. So it was six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Ten tumors. Ten tumors at this point. Ten tumors. Ten tumors. All of them able to be cut out. They're staying in my lymphatic system where I can have them cut out, fortunately. Yeah. So I have marks everywhere all over my body. Yeah. And then in October 2016 is I had my tumors 11, 12, and 13. Mm -hmm. 13 tumors total and 12 and 13 were in my right and left lungs. Mm -hmm. And that's when my oncologist told me that I had six months to live. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. I didn't think that was, you know, with my uh, wife at the time there, it was really, it was really tough to take that news. And I never believed the interesting thing is that I've never believed ever for a moment that I was ever not going to live. Yeah. You know, yeah. it just was never a reality that I knew served me. Mm. So I never went down that road. Yeah. But this time around, uh, she told me I had six months to live and yeah, that's when I incorporated everything I could think of. Not only organic plant-based diet, the conventional uh, immunotherapy, I added breath work, I added yoga, I added trauma-based breath work, I've, and then I've learned so many modalities. And yeah, that's my that's my healing. And so your mindset shifted from because in the beginning he said that he was uh, he was avoiding death. Yeah. So avoiding death, the cancer ended up coming back. Yeah. But the second time around, you started choosing life. Yeah. Absolutely. And so choosing life, what's happened from there? Well, uh, in choosing life, when I did the Gerson therapy originally, it really wasn't much working out. Yeah. And this time around, I was like, I know that feeds a part of my soul that, that, is, that fights off tumors. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I began going to my friend TJ, uh, who owned Extreme Gymnastics. He built a corner that had some monkey bars to do a little Ninja Warrior yeah. area. And I got on there and due to my organic plant-based diet, I was lighter and stronger than I've wow. been in a long time. So yeah, you had, you had a lot of vitality. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, my body felt great. I basically aged in reverse while I had cancer hmm. because I, I, I'm excited to show my before and after pictures because I was, you know, I was just kind of swollen. Yeah. You know, and when you eat a lot of meat and a lot of dairy and a lot of cheese, that yeah. just kind of happens. So. It was interesting to transition not only to have cancer but come out feeling more more alive more energy I, yeah you know and then you actually you actually so, were on american ninja World. Uh, yeah so i started swinging on the monkey bars and said why not send off a video i mean how many guys with stage four cancer could do it and mm -hmm. in 2017 i was accepted to compete on american ninja World. Nice. yeah so 2013 first diagnosed with cancer yeah 2015 told you had six months to live yes 2017 stayed on oh, american ninja warrior you got it 
that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a lie. See, they're just commenting like crazy over it. That, right. that is that is a lie. That is absolutely that is a transitional <laughs> transformation approach. Have you seen that doctor since that told you you had six months? Uh, she actually she left. She went back to Seattle, and it's I I don't look at it like that. And I and there I mean I did choose the name Stage Four Ninja Warrior kind of as an ode to because she gave, when she gave me stage four cancers, when she told me six months to live. Yeah. And I always, whenever I use that quote, I always put quotation marks because that wasn't my reality, the six months to live, that was her You reality. didn't buy that reality. No, so I, I will always put six months to live in quotation marks for the rest of my life because that's yeah. not my reality. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, she gave me six months to live. And so when I was choosing a ninja name, I'm like a little, I mean, there's a little F you, you know, stage yeah, four I'm ninja warrior, I'm gonna do this. Yeah. And at the time when I competed, I actually still had the tumors in my lungs. Wow. So I really did still have stage four cancer when I competed on the show. You competed on American Ninja Warrior with cancer. With stage four cancer. With stage four cancer. Less than a 12% chance of living. Wow. That is, that is absolutely amazing. I love how I experienced you as being a little delusional because she told you you have one thing. You're like, nope, I don't believe that. Do, when I use delusional, I don't mean it in this, like, I'm off in a different world. I mean, I'm creating my own world. Yes. yes. I'm creating my reality. Yes. I appreciate that. I understand your concern but you don't know who I am. It's even more when I started looking into it, I knew enough to know what, know what she didn't know. Mm, I knew yeah. that she knew what an oncologist knows very well. Yeah. And that's why I really don't hold anything against her. I mean, she tried to up my dosage no, secretly yeah. one time yeah. uh, just because I wanted it a lower amount because I didn't want as much toxicity. And she wanted to up it because there were studies that were showing that that was a good idea. Yeah. If it was her choice, she wanted me to stay on this immunotherapy for the rest of my life. So she was really mad when I was tumor free. And I, wait, I waited until I was tumor free for nine months on the immunotherapy mm -hmm. with the advice of my naturopath and my Gerson doctor. And the idea is you want to get your, your body immune system ramped up enough to make that transition onto the nutritional side. Yeah. And yeah. so it wasn't just willy nilly, I'm going to go off immunotherapy. I had a plan. You weaned off. Yeah, I had a plan. You, you had a plan. You weaned off. And, you had a plan. You and, and that's all I ask. That's all in, in the cancer coaching that I'm, I'm doing more of. And I'm hoping within the next two months, I'm really excited. I'm going to develop a program that people are going to be able to access to learn what I learned a lot of problems. Yeah, they'll be able to get in touch with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. It it could, well, it's going to be an online program. We'll show the different steps that I took mm -hmm. in order to get, because I've learned a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. I've learned a lot of stuff. And was it, was the immunotherapy that cured my cancer? I don't know. Was the yoga, you know, I became a yoga instructor. Was the yoga, I, it, all of it, increased my chances percentages oh, and yeah and and so that's what i want people to leave with is the ability to take control of your journey is half the battle i don't care if i don't care if you do chemotherapy but know that you're the skipper yeah. you know own the journey and that's that's a big part of what i'm i'm speaking to that's amazing that's yeah amazing. that's why i won't tell people what to do but i'll i'll, I'll flood you with information and then and what i've noticed is i flooded people with information but if I do it in steps, like adding meditation, it's such a big part of this. Meditation. Because, okay. Absolutely, because it turned off that voice inside your head that thinks that all these realities that people are telling you are true, and you get to, you get to be the skipper. You get to say no. no so I'm meditation charge. allows you to get rooted with your highest truth. Yeah. You. Well, just to realize that those voices that tell you those realities, the, the one that told me I had six months to live. Yeah. It's easy to believe other people's reality because that's what you're surrounded with. Yeah. But I feel like with meditation, if you come to that heart place and just understand that I acknowledge, and again, I knew what she didn't know. I knew that by go, going on organic, due to the a great book, the China study, I mean, I read, I read and read, educate yourself, educate, yeah. educate yourself. So I knew that she didn't know that if I went organic plant-based diet, increase my chances, let's say 20%. Yeah. And if I did yoga meditation and, and so I've learned a ton and I'm really excited to develop a See, program. Lines, lines, what I'm getting from this mostly, is that when someone presents you with a reality, you don't have to buy it. Mm -hmm. When someone presents you with, this is the way it is, you don't have to buy it. Absolutely. And I believe that Eric's the proof that it can save your life to go with what you know inside of yourself, your own spirit. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a very spiritual person. And I believe that I mean, God can, our creator can speak to us through people, but sometimes we know in our heart what's true for us. Right. And it's being able to be that on speaker yeah. against the grain of what other people try to prescribe us. Yeah. 
And so I feel like that's one of those things where it's like you were prescribed something from someone that probably spent 12 years in school. Oh, yeah. And to Stanford grad, top of a class. Stanford grade, top of a class, one of the smartest minds in the sure. cancer area. And you went with your instinct. I went with much more than instinct. Mm -hmm. I, went, I mean, my instinct led me to the decisions I made, but it was really just educating myself. Educating because myself, I, knew, yeah. I knew she knew oncology about uh, better than anybody. Yeah. One of the best, if I could have gone to the Mayo Clinic. And that's another thing that I just like, because everybody thinks there's great cancer care really mostly getting the same stuff like yeah. if i went to the melon if i went there i would have got alpha interferon until the new one came out mm -hmm. and so i don't buy that whole great but so i went to her and i knew at some point she knew i knew what she didn't know yeah and yeah you just educated yourself yeah, you know, yeah so, so it was the, it was the intuition which led to the education yes. which led to you saving your life right that's that's which has been my whole healing journey is i've just and i i let cancer become my teacher yeah you know I, I went from it's something that happened to me to what can I learn from this yeah so when I would do something that wouldn't work I would add yoga I knew I needed to tap into my body I knew releasing tension and inflammation I I've read enough yeah, give, give us help. something for the for the lines what's something that people can implement that can have a radical shift in their life in terms of healing of anything what's what give, give us what's a nugget they can really walk away with well I was saying earlier in one of my posts, whether it's cancer, COVID, or chronic disease, yeah. you know, this is applicable to everything. You want to basically get off the meat, get off no the meat. dairy. Okay, so first rule from a man that cured cancer, get off the meat. What else? Get off the dairy. Get off the dairy. So why, why not meat? Meat, you look at, the, again, a great book, The China Study. Yeah. It goes, and in China, they, they studied hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands of people. And due to their regional food cuisine, they were able to detect what cancers they had. And so all the prostate cancers came in parts of China where they ate lots of meat. Whoa, okay. So the, the meat, it takes longer to digest. It yeah. sits in there. And I, I'd, I'd love to post studies and be able to inform people who I coach or whomever that if you have prostate cancer, get off the meat, man. Yes. Yeah. Just now, open up, open up. You got to get things to flow. Yeah. You know, the goal is to flood your body with nutrients and you want things to move. Okay. And meat will just slow that down. Wow. Dairy, we're not meant to drink from cows. I mean, we so can dairy eat. as well. So meat first and then also dairy. Yeah. And this is all dairy cheese. Yeah. There's really, Everything. there hasn't been anything beneficial for dairy and dairy in a long time. I think anybody within the realm, I, I again, this is my realm of knowledge. So I don't want to, to belittle, but yeah, milk hasn't been good for a long time. Milk hasn't been good. What about calcium? Calcium, you actually get more calcium from things like carrot juice than you do from, uh -huh. and calcium, there's other studies that can actually show that the calcium that you get from milk that does a body good actually weakens actually the balls. Actually weakens the balls. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's so, a lot of. So you're advocating that go vegan. Organic. Organic. Plant-based diets. Like organic plant-based diets. So yeah. Well, what about protein though? That's the, I have a great talk by by Charlotte Gerson, who was Max Gerson's I always mess this up granddaughter mm -hmm. who just died recently. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry, Charlotte was her daughter. Is that right? Yeah, Charlotte was her daughter. I'm not yes, gonna it's okay. But Charlotte <laughs> Charlotte led the Gerson therapy into the 1990s and into the 2000s and kept her 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 father's story alive to heal people as it has. Yeah, and so. Uh, yeah, she educated people on Gerson therapy. Where was I going with this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the protein. Oh, yeah, protein. And she gives a great talk on how in the Gerson therapy, we get, four, I think, four, yeah, 40 grams of protein just on the carrot juices alone. There's 40 because grams of protein. Because she care. says, you know, we eat, we eat what, cows mm -hmm. to get protein. And in her beautiful German accent, she, thinks, she says, where do you think the cows got the protein? From eating plants, right? So this yeah. whole, and... There's another a great analogy that how many people do you know that have died from lack of protein? Not many. Yeah. If you go to, yeah. So this whole protein myth is, yeah. it was put on the, by the meat department. I mean, by the American Meat Association, whatever it is, a long time ago yeah. to propagate that we need protein and we need protein from meat. So the protein really, thing is, is a myth. It, it, yeah, we're short on protein. Yes, I believe okay. that. There's plenty of 
organic plant-based athlete, CrossFit athletes, triathletes wow. that are killing. Yeah. I mean, power lifters. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you was on American Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I, my body, and that's the neat thing. Once you go on this diet, like you don't get inflammation. Mm -hmm. I, I recover quicker, but that's yeah. another chapter of my book too. I actually have an in chapter of the book, but uh, I have an injury in my neck mm -hmm. that I'm actually, I'm trying to heal naturopathically. Naturopath. They yeah. wanted to do surgery. My C6 is into my spine. So I've had tingling in my hands. Even when I competed on Ninja Warrior, I haven't been wow. 100%. Still is great. When I compete, I, I, I strongly believe that when you do get everything organized with the TED Talk, yeah. the TEDx, yeah, that, I got that a lot of knowledge. Yeah, that is because I actually um I just launched two days ago the TEDx e course. Yeah, and I feel like that's something that I would love for you to go through it because you have all of the information. Mm -hmm. And so the TEDx e course is designed to get you to package that and deliver yeah. that. And 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 because a TED talk could be what eighteen minutes, fifteen minutes, however right. long. I mean, this right, this this podcast, you've already done three TED talks. <laughs> <laughs> I got material, and that's what minutes. I'm realizing yeah. in coaching people with cancer. They, that, that's where my niche is. Yeah. You know, I yes, I know yoga. Yes, I know breath work, but I want to speak to the person that that has cancer and just just educate them and i don't care if they go naturopathic i don't care if they yeah, go that's your niche market right yeah there. yeah i speak to that person that's like oh crap yeah you know that it's moment panicking. yeah and just you can help yeah. them yeah yeah and it, again that program should be online i'm hoping in a couple months okay. I, I got a team of people working on it okay. and if i combine that with a ted talk like it's really the future yeah. is really exciting and once i heal my neck i'm going to try to get back on american ninja warrior next year amazing and they kill it because yeah. I haven't been a hundred percent and I'll share my, my journey for healing my neck also online because I'm doing something called spinal decompression yeah. through disc centers of America. Mm -hmm. uh, amazing place that is putting feeling back yeah. in my hands yeah. and it's just taking the neck and aligning and it yeah. works on lower. It works on everything. What about the so, people that don't have cancer, but they do want to live a healthier yeah, life, man. That's well, I'm really excited about that. I just started an affiliation with an organic plant-based company. Okay. And uh, I'm on their 30-day cleanse right now. Nice. Because okay. I know Gerson therapy is an all-in deal, mm -hmm. right? Like I know that that's, I mean, it costs a lot of money. And there's a, I've always wondered, is there a happy medium? And coming out of this, I know the one thing that we have control over with COVID is our immune system. Mm -hmm. And... The Gerson therapy, there's something that I'd like people to look up, the germ theory versus the terrain theory. Yeah. The germ theory says, whatever germs we have, we got to invent different medicines to keep those germs from having, yes. from killing us and, or making us sick. Yes. Okay? And, but, and the terrain theory, which is what the Gerson therapy is, said, but says, let's change the place in where these things grow. Let's clean that out. Yeah. And so that's the premise. You get, that's why it works with COVID, cancer, and, uh, chronic disease. You get rid of the, the environment in which the disease can, can grow yeah. and it can grow. The They're already showing, I have a great study that uh, one of my mentors, Chris, Chris Walk, just released uh, that talks about just adding vitamin D. Mm. It's, vitamin D is huge, huge. Magnesium, there's so many things, again, so many things yeah. I know, but it's vitamin amazing. D, yeah. he's, please he's get it checked out at least. Of information, yeah, a wealth of information. <laughs> yes, right, so, so, do you have anything for the people? Because we're coming to a close All right. here. Do you have anything for the people? Like, well, what can you give the lines? You know, oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, two teasers. One is the uh, three. First of all, the the food cure will be coming out within the month, uh, streaming. Yeah, and so I'm going to promote that the heck out of it because Sarah is an awesome person. It's an awesome movie, and it's the best representation of what I did. Yeah. Uh, Besides that, this uh, I, the co cancer coaching that I'm doing soon. Yeah, uh, I'm super excited about that program, and I'll be offering it on my site, Stage Four Ninja Warrior, on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, and the last thing is this new company that I have the affiliation with. I'm on a 30 day transform transformational uh, diet, and if you want to come out of this and feel your healthy healthiest, they're starting a group cleanse on June 4th. Oh, yeah, and uh, I'll include the links here. Uh, if yeah. anybody has any questions, it comes with a $50 off coupon to, to check it out. But okay. I haven't been behind a company a long time. Yeah. And because it hasn't aligned with my beliefs and this company is legit. And it's also an opportunity for other people to spread, you know, the, 
the the message and you know I don't nice. know super excited. I got you I got you yeah I got yeah, you. yeah so so the way you can connect um, with Eric is you can go to rethinkbig.org slash lion team sweet um, and then also on Facebook at stage four native warrior as yeah. well you know, and, and um, can we include, include links in include this? Links. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's whatever. You know, okay. It's, it's, oh, yeah, um, but what I'll have is on rethinkbig.org slash my okay. team. It will have all links to me right there. I love it. Every, it's like your own page well, let's do it. On, on that website. Love it, you know, um, so you guys feel free to comment here as well. Um, but we're, we're coming to a close, and I, I just feel like that I'm empowered. You right, know, right. I'm empowered. I'm inspired. <laughs> you know, I, I think my, one of my biggest takeaways was you believe your own reality over the external reality, what they were telling you. Yeah. And you, you betted your life on that. You betted your life. I that. knew accepting that reality, the bit, I, I, that's close, but I knew accepting that reality served no purpose in my healing. Yeah. No purpose. Yeah. Why, why believe that? Like all it does is cause you, you know, it makes you sicker. And so let cancer be your teacher. You yeah. Know, let it let, let cancer it, let be it. your teacher. Yeah. I can comment that. Let cancer be your teacher. Yeah. Yeah. And That's me. Yeah. That the other one, the TED talk I'm thinking about is instead of battling like a gladiator, because everybody's like, battle cancer. Yeah. Be be a ninja and learn to navigate. You fall in the water, you get back up, mm. and you try again until you're able yeah. to ring the buzzer at the end. Yeah. That's gonna be yeah. me, man. And that's, that's the powerful thing. Even with the cancer, you don't even have to see some of you guys out there, some of those lions, it doesn't have to be cancer. It can be Anything yeah. negative, it can be anything that doesn't resonate with it. it, can be anything that's trying to take our dream, that's trying to rob us of who we truly are, mm -hmm. and let that be your teacher. Yeah, it can be a cancer, Absolutely. Hey, it can be a, a uncle you don't like, <laughs> it can be depression, it can be depression, it can be anxiety. Absolutely, let let it be your teacher through and through through meditation. Through meditation, you can realize that that's not you, that is you know, yeah, that's not you, yeah, it's not yeah, you, you it's hey. a separate thought. Man, rethinkbig.org slash lion team. Eric, amazing, amazing. That was just, man, <laughs> just blown, blew me away, man. I'm Thanks, brother. Super excited. It's, been, it's for a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hopefully in a year or so, you'll see me on American Ninja Warrior again. We'll see. Kicking we'll see. some butt. You heard it first. Yeah, I love it. All right. Peace out, Lion Team. See you guys see you. later. And Simba, stage four Ninja Warrior, out. Peace.